Look out! Watch out! Oh! Hello there, I'm Robert. And we are late to the party. It's another episode of Better, Better Late Than Never, Spooky Edition. <laughs> Our party planning committee has voted on what movies we will be watching for October. Last week was The Exorcist. This week, The Omen. Oh, man. I don't know much about this movie. I don't know what you know about this movie. I know the kid's name, and I know he's kind of a jerk. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, the only thing I know is that the kid is uh, a bad seed. It's That's funny. pretty much it. It's funny you say that, because, yeah, I know a little bit more about the kid, thanks to South Park. Rectus Dominus. That was ages ago. That's pretty much it. And I know Jerry Goldsmith did the music. Oh, The okay. Birds. And many other movies. And uh, Richard Donner directed it, so... Oh. Interesting. I exactly. didn't know that they, okay, now it, it has uh, peaked it a little bit more. <laughs> exactly. So, guys, if you want to check out our full movie watch along to The Omen or any of the other movies that we watch on our channel, they're available on our Patreon. And if you've not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we drop uh, episodes too better late than never. We are also going through Loki, so make sure you're checking that out as well. Thursdays are all better late than never and Loki, so make sure you subscribe if you have not. But let's get into The Omen for our first time now. <laughs> the crucifix and the music <laughs> david, david warner, warner! <laughs> that just escalated things yeah. <laughs> we're big david warner fans in this household patrick Troughton too oh damn we the got doctor. a doctor in the house <laughs> second doctor yeah june 6 like. 6 a.m that's very specific the child is dead the child very raspy, ominous voice. <laughs> My God, she wanted a baby so much. What can I tell her? What will I say? So did she give birth to it and it died and she doesn't know? Possibly. I mean, there's times where, you know, you take the child away and then. That's true. Yeah. The mother hasn't seen it in a little bit or there was complications or something, you know. Are they going to pretend like, hey, this is your baby? So she doesn't know. That suck. <laughs> it even resembles. Oh no! Your wife need never know. Sa Aha! <laughs> that seems very dishonest of them. God has given you a son. Pretty convenient. Oh, look at the baby. Like the baby doesn't know. <laughs> Send it back. Why she should have marked her baby in an <laughs> undisclosed location with a sign and a uh, symbol only she knows. All right, let's jump to the scene where the baby's not a baby anymore. <laughs> Can't handle the crying. <laughs> it's like the car was going after the person is like <laughs> running. No. <laughs> what are you doing home so early? Nice. No more baby. <laughs> no more baby. Is he a diplomat? London it is. Once again, the happy family and everything is perfect. <laughs> before it all goes wrong. Uh, much. Nothing's too much for the wife of the future president of the United States. Oh. Ooh, he's going for the big job. Now this they call his day room. His day room. <laughs> Uh-oh. Breaking the bookshelves. There's no furniture up there either. Oh. <laughs> Standing positions. <laughs> you know, you could be too sexy for the White House. Aww. That's the nicest thing something somebody's <laughs> ever said to me. <laughs> he knows how to sweep her off her feet. Look at that dog. Spare no expense. <laughs> yeah, they're really hammering home the perfection. A loving husband and a doting wife. No, I better stay here and fool around with Damien. Damien? Sounds yeah. awfully like Damon. Funny enough, Damien was uh, the name of the main character of the last movie. Damien! Yeah. There's a little bastard. 
Oh, he's oh. not liking that. It's like, who the hell are you people? I know. It's like when I see children of that age or like younger crying, they're like, yeah, they, they don't know anything. <laughs> Hooray! He's saving a bit for his canonization. How's there that? he is! Oh my gosh! The thorn millions here or Jesus Christ himself? <laughs> he's so young. Holly! Come on. Hey, you didn't want him to be in a picture? Uh oh. Uh, he's gonna shoot the lasers. <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. Damien, it's all for you. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, that'll ruin your birthday party. I mean, he's a photographer. Yeah. Yeah, get the shot. Demon dog. <laughs> what the hell was that? Hellhound. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's an article on the suicide. Uh, your nanny. Uh, he's turning all paparazzi on it. A priest named Father Brennan from Rome. He says it's a matter of urgent personal business. There he is. <laughs> doctor. <laughs> doctor. Father yes, doctor. <laughs> you must accept Christ as your savior. You must accept him now. Well, that's quite pushy. Right. For only if he is within you can you defeat the son of the devil. He'll kill again. Father, would you mind Only through waited? Christ can you fight him. All right, so you got to do communion. It ain't too bad. I was at the hospital, Mr. Thorne, the night your son was born. I witnessed the birth. You should have led with that. <laughs> right. What do you want? To save you, Mr. Thorne, so Christ will forgive me. Forgive you for what? For not telling him sooner. I saw its mother. This is blackmail, and come out and say it. His mother was a A what? Okay, let's go. He's totally spooked by it. Well, next time, just lead with your TARDIS. <laughs> I think you'll be okay. <laughs> oh, you've redecorated. I don't like it. <laughs> Father. Thank you. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> the music is so unsettling. Uh. Oh, the dark mark. Hello. Bear Warner. He's upstairs. I'll show you where it well, is. Well, why don't you just leave us alone at first? I like her. She seems all right. Yeah. I didn't find her. I assumed you found her. Uh. Ooh. Well, then I don't trust her. Yeah. What are you playing at? Oh, Mrs. Baylock. How'd they get up there so quick? Oh, the uh, the agency. They read in the paper about the. About your first nanny, so they sent you another. Have no fear, little one. I am here to protect thee. No! She's in on it. Yeah. I told you he was going to go with us. He's too young for church, Mommy. Of course, a fuss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder why in she's In many trying to block other him. ways, too. <laughs> He's so intense. Ooh, I know the feeling, kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn Stop. Put him in a chokehold He's like growling No more church for that kid sure that you don't want to call a doctor? Well, he's perfectly alright Never been sick a day in his life Isn't that a little strange? The words that the priest told you are now rattling within your mind Uh uh. Who gave you permission to bring a dog in the house? Gave you a fright, did he say? Uh, yeah, because he didn't know there was going to be a dog in the house. I think you'll be grateful on your long trips away, sir. But he's so precious. Tell them to collect the dog and find him another home. A little bit of that cheery music again. Thank you. Parking for refreshment and zoo area. He's talking. Thank you. Oh, he's polite. He said thank you. I didn't like that look. <laughs> uh uh, they want none of that. 
I don't like that sound. It's so settling. So I get it. Like when he's like staring at them and stuff. Oh. It's the choir. It's like the juxtaposition of like happy go lucky to like dark and scary. And like unsettling. whiplash. You're like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. He's trying to help. Yep. Ah, they're going to go ape shit. Literally. Even though those aren't apes, they're actually monkeys. Oh, boy. Oh, they feel his presence. Yep. They don't like it. They sense it. Oh, oh they're coming. Man. Just drive out of there. Oh, she's driving. Don't hit him. Ooh. It always scares me when they do, like, movies back in this era with uh, live animals. Yeah. Like, what are you guys doing to them to get that reaction? Maybe they had some food. Oh, they seem pretty defensive. I mean, I could get pretty defensive when it comes to food. <laughs> Start hearing that chanting when you try and take Vanessa's pizza away. <laughs> oh, what could be wrong with our child, Robert? We're the beautiful people, aren't we? Damn. Conceited. Well, there's one thing about it that you don't know. The beautiful people, the beautiful people. Five minutes and you'll never see me again. Your wife is in danger. Like I mean, I would listen. Sounds like a threat, though, too. You got to be careful. That is, yeah. Hanging around your house. I know. He knows where you live. All that stuff. <laughs> the non-participant observer. Again, still the mark. Yeah. God, so freaking, unsettling. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, freaking Jerry Goldsmith. Yeah. <laughs> when the Jews return to Zion and a comet rips the sky, the Holy Roman Empire rises, then you and I must die. From the eternal sea, he rises, creating armies on either shore, turning man against his brother, till man exists no more. It's the Antichrist. Yeah. My Go wife to was... the town of Megiddo. There, see the old man... I'm here because you said my wife is in danger. She is pregnant. Uh-oh. He will not allow the child to be born. The son, Mr. Thorne, the son of the devil. Uh, uh. With your wealth and power, he will establish his counterfeit kingdom here on Earth. You're insane. This time is up. Uh-oh. You forgot your hat. Get out of that storm, it's gonna get you. Oh, oh man. Uh, get indoors. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Music legit. Yeah. Go, go, go. No, it's too sharp. Good luck. No time to waste. Just get over. Here you go. Woo! Oh, no. But, like, isn't he just, like, the whole part is, like, holy ground, so it should be fine? Uh, get in the doorway. Oh! 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 And then the weather just goes back to normal. Would you just get him out of here, please? Come oh, on. boy. I don't ever want to have any more children. Too late. Then you'll agree to an abortion. Oh, so oh, she knows. Oh, yeah. She does know. I'm pregnant, Robert. I just found out this morning. So the priest was right. <laughs> well, this situation just got more difficult. Just like in the pictures that he's been taking... Oh, damn. Yeah, it's like Final Destination. Yeah, it's like foreshadowing <laughs> what's happening. Oh, man. She fantasizes that your child is alien, that your child is evil. Intuition. She also thinks the child isn't hers. Very astute. <laughs> Mother knows best. Yeah. Ooh, careful, buddy. Dang. Like Mary Poppins from hell. 
<laughs> yeah. Mm, Don't do uh, it. How do they know? I guess they just know. The devil tells them when. Careful. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, you little bastard. Oh, she didn't fall yet. He's going to do this little piggy on your hands. No, no. Oh, no, shit. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. That oh. was awesome, though, how they shot that. I mean, uh -oh. I feel like you could have survived that. But you landed on your stomach, and that's terrible. And then there's a bunch of glass. Oof. Yeah, she's all twisted up like a pretzel. I'm going to get so busted. That's what he's thinking. What now, Mr. Ambassador? She will recover. So at least she survived. But she's pregnant. No. Not anymore. She's lost it. Fights them. He did what he wanted to do. Now do you believe it? Don't let him. I, yeah, I would believe your wife. Like, you need to get on this. Long drop. Oh, oh so that bad. got me. <laughs> I'll deal with you later, evil puppers. Saved by the ring. Yeah. Or the bell. I mean, what are you going to do? They're sleeping anyways. This is the moment to strike. <laughs> Not with that Rottweiler in there. That's true. My name is Keith Jennings, sir. It's about you, Mr. Thorne, and the death of the priest. Do you notice anything unusual? At first I thought this was just a fault in the film. Oh, yeah, the shadow around her neck. It's a strange coincidence. Then it happened again. I wonder if Final Destination was like, that sounds like a good idea, we'll take that. <laughs> right. Final Destination 3, specifically. True, yeah, Final Destination 3. And the rest, of course, history. The coroner's report shows that he was riddled with cancer. He said that he wanted to be forgiven by Christ. Externally, his body was perfectly normal, except for one small thing in the inside of his right thigh. Three sixes. Oh, the mark of the beast. The biopsy says it's a birthmark. Bible pages on the walls? Pages of the Bible. Thousands of them. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, he's protecting himself? There wow. are 47. I counted them. I think he was trying to keep something out, don't you? Comet changed its shape into a glowing star like the star of Bethlehem. This one was on the other side of the world, the European continent, five years ago. Just like the revelations. Yep. Does that date mean anything to you? Yes. That's the day you got the boy. <laughs> That's when he was born, just like baby Jesus. Sixth month, sixth day. So we got to celebrate June 6th now. It's Damien's birthday. <laughs> no, thank you. 6 a.m. Three sixes. Ah, oh, so that's why the time was important. Six, 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 six. six. It's my problem. No, say you're wrong. It's my problem, too. Why is that? I happen to catch sight of my reflection in that mirror. Oh, no. Oh, you boy. got something, too. Dang. Eesh. Well, what? at least you know it's there, and it could be coming. <laughs> that was an awesome moment, though. Yeah. Well, maybe take a picture of him, too, to see if... I know. <laughs> figure out what's going on. <laughs> yeah. So at least maybe you have an idea of what's coming. There's no way to stop it, though. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Last night, I saw that dog in Damien's room. I clearly told you... He's gone now, sir. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there was a terrible fire, and the old hospital burned down five years ago. Mm -hmm. Ruh-roh. Ru. I think everything was destroyed. What is that lady doing watching in the background? Yeah, right? They and, might be important, or it's just uh, oh. uh, somebody in the background <laughs> yeah. that's just staring. <laughs> An overzealous background extra. Right. There was a tall man, a priest. Uh... Padre Spiletto. He's in a monastero in... Uh... Frozen on. He lived through the fire. Yeah, never-ending elevators freak me out. <laughs> I know they exist in other countries, but man, I wouldn't trust them. I'd slip I'm, or something. <laughs> I'd be too afraid, like, to get in. What if I like <laughs> trip or something, and then my foot gets caught? Or you never know. I mean, I feel like he should go to the place that the father told him to go to. Well, these are supposed to be the events that signal the birth of the Antichrist. 
Boom. There it is. My Catholic family is going to love that I'm going through all these movies. <laughs> <laughs> this is why they kept them all from me my whole life. No exorcist, no omen. Theologians have already interpreted the eternal sea as meaning the world of politics. And that's why he wanted you, because you're in politics. Get his way in that way, foot yeah. in the door. Yep. It's all coming man. together. <laughs> Found him. Oh, Oof. man. Harvey Dent. Can you trust him? <laughs> He's fallen from grace. Can you tell us why? For abandoning Christ. I want to know where that child came from. You said you knew its mother. Where is she? Tell what it says. Jeanette. Thank you. <laughs> it is an old cemetery from Etruscan times. It is nothing but ruins. It is perhaps 50 kilometers north of Rome. At least it's in the area. Yeah, right. For a moment, I thought we were going to be jet setting across the world. <laughs> and you got there at nighttime? Oh, man. Careful. Too many sharp, pointy things in this movie. <laughs> yeah. And climbing over them. Yep. All the crickets stopped. It's got to be a backdrop. No way you can get that kind of weather when you want it. Robert, over here. And the music starts. Oh, uh -oh, it's a dog, yeah. Is my son buried here? I mean, that would make sense. Could be the mother of the child you adopted. <laughs> You broke it. Who was it was it? a lie. A dog? Maybe my child is alive. <laughs> that was a fair point. <laughs> it's true. You just took their word for it. Oh, uh, no. uh, What's with the hole? They murdered him as soon as he was born. They were in coots. Bashed him on the side of the head. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> In real life, they're probably the sweetest dogs ever. <laughs> yeah, well trained. <laughs> oh, no! Dang. How do you take them on? Be careful! careful. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you gotta help him! Hit him with your camera! Be careful, too! Just kick him! Come on. There were people behind there. Oh, you gotta rip it off. It's so dangerous. Watch dogs. Yeah. There was a point where you could see people's faces in the trees. They probably, it was more than likely the crew. Yeah. But yeah, like you could see them. They were like looking through the bushes <laughs> while it was all going down. They're like, I gotta, I gotta look at this scene. <laughs> <laughs> or the trainers maybe for the dogs. Oh yeah, the too. I want you to leave London right now. Tom Portman will meet you at the hospital and bring you here to Rome. I'll be like, okay. I mean, she can't do much. She's in the hospital. I'll try to be ready by the time he gets here. All right, darling. Ugh, that sucks. I mean, don't trust the hospital either, then. I know. Careful. Oh, uh, she's there. Damn it. Demon Poppins. Oh, no. Oh no, she could push you out the window. Yeah, she is. Ah, these zoom shots. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh! Nice! Beautiful shot. Yeah. I just love how that was executed. <laughs> love how she was executed. The falls in this movie. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> That sucks, though. Yes. You're too late. <sighs> yep. Kathy. You're dealing Gone. with the cult of the Antichrist. And you don't know how deep that goes, either. That's true. And the lengths they'll go. I found out about the town of Megiddo. 
derived from the word Armageddon. End of days, end of days. The end of the world. Yep. It's underground, about 60 miles south of Jerusalem. If only you could remember the name of the man you're supposed to see. It's Bogan Hagen. He was an exorcist. I read about him. Another uh, exorcism. I want Damien to die, too. Dang. This time. Just like the exorcist, excavations and archaeological digs, yeah. you know, play a part yeah. as well. We had better get to work. This is for Mr. Thorne alone. But he's got a lot riding on this, too. <laughs> His life. Yeah. It must be done on hallowed ground, a church. Take him to the church that he freaked out at. Blood must be spilled on the altar of God. This first knife is most important. It extinguishes physical life and forms the center of the cross. The subsequent placings extinguish spiritual life. Damn, you got to stab him with all those? Apparently. This is not a human child. Make no mistake. Just think about your wife. Is there proof? He bears a birthmark, a sequence of sixes. If it is not visible on the body, it will be beneath the hair. Good hiding spot. Yeah. You must be devoid of pity. Otherwise, you won't be able to go through with it. Wants me to murder a child. Can you say that any louder? <laughs> I know. I won't have anything to do with murdering a little boy. I won't do it! Then you will die. Kind of need those. And if you don't do it, I will. No, you're in like an area that could things oh, could fall. Shoot. No, 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 no. It's like Final Destination again. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Look out. Watch out. Oh. Oh, no. That was gnarly. <laughs> In the reflection of the glass. Yep. Wow. Totally Final Destination 3. <laughs> <laughs> That's And now he's got it. Yeah, he's going for it. That was awesome. Rest in peace, David Warner. <laughs> David Warner, man. True gem of cinema. Funny enough, right next to us, we actually have him uh, watching over us. <laughs> We do. <laughs> On a poster. He said the dog was gone. All right, liar. that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love the chanting. Oh, man. Gonna take out the dog first. Yeah. Kick his ass down the stairs. Oh, lock him in the cellar. Nice. There you go. Incapacitate it. Uh, it's like the mix of like the happy but like the eerie together. I mean, don't you have a thing full of knives? I mean, he's probably using the scissors to cut the boy's hair, find the mark. That's true. All right, son, time for a late night haircut. <laughs> I mean, where do you? Did oh, I, I thought scare you, you? <laughs> <laughs> scared me. <laughs> I, thought I was gonna say, where do you even begin? I don't know about you, but I'd be waking up. I'd be like. What's going on? There it is. Do what must be done. Get him to the church on time. But I feel like she's like right behind him. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, you got to throw her ass in the fire. Should have taken her out beforehand. He had to be sure. My Legos. Well, that that's not the best hiding spot. There you go. Kick her! Where are those scissors? I mean, for the Antichrist, you're kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Take a tumble. Use the kid to break your fall. Come on! This music really reminds me of Scream, Marco Beltrami. Oh! Throw her in the microwave. This part sounds a lot like Scream. Oh, no! Oh, no! Where are you going to stick it? Right in the eye! Go. Oh, is that the neck? 
It looks like it's the neck, yeah. Oh! You got her twice? I guess. And she got herself, I think. Oh! <laughs> Throw them child locks on. Hey! Panda for the control. Oh, boy. He's not going to be able to pull this off with the fuzz on him. Unless they're a part of it, too. They're in cahoots, just like you said, you know? No, more than likely. <laughs> You don't know how deep this runs. <laughs> He's not going to make it. you are not going to have time. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, whatever works. I thought I sit on the altar. I mean, it's like enough. right there. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be able to do it. Oh, no. 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 Oh, that's messed up. Help me. Oh no! He's gonna shoot! Oh! oh! It's over! Do we commit these two and entrust them unto our Lord? It's him and his wife. Yeah. Because to them, it just looks like he went crazy after his wife died or committed suicide by jumping out the window. Yeah. The pressure's got to them. Excuse me, Mr. President. When you're ready to leave, your car is right over there. <sighs> Dang. Right at the camera. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> ah, you little prick. Damn. Oof. I dig it. <sighs> this music, though. <laughs> so chilling. <laughs> Oh, is that what they're saying? I don't know. Oh, man, because it doesn't oh, sound man. like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So we have finally seen The Omen for the very first time. I know there was a sequel as well and a remake. I believe Lee Schreiber's in the remake I knew that as there well. was a remake. Wasn't... Um, I have no idea. I know Lee Schreiber, that was Alan, it. Alan, Jurassic Park. Wasn't he in it? Uh, Sam Neill? Yeah. I have no idea. I think he was. I have no idea. <laughs> but let us know if you've seen The Omen 2. I think it's called Damien The Omen 2 or either way. If it's worth <laughs> it, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Same with the remake because you never know. We'll eventually get there That's if it's true. good yeah. or if it's something to check out. But I enjoyed this one too, man. It's It had some awesome, amazing uh, cinematography, unsettling score the visuals yeah. but at the same time man it was a, a heartbreaking story because this guy just wanted a kid this family just wanted to have a kid man and these other people had other ideas of Motive. what to do Alter and take ulterior it over your motives yeah and they hijacked his life to bring in the son of the devil the antichrist to yeah. put him into the equation mm -hmm. and there's aspects of it too that kind of remind me of end of days as well, because in End of Days, there was a little society that was trying to, you know, take over the daughter. Or she wasn't the daughter. They tried to take over the vessel, the girl that would end up being the one to birth the Antichrist. And so they were just trying to save her for when Satan would make his way to right, Earth. Right, and you and, know, they, that was kind of a, a somewhat of the main storyline, a little bit of Constantine, right. too, so... Uh, it, it's it's been done over and over in many different ways. But the Omen, I believe, was the first one to do it in terms sure of cinematography. Else Other stories in the past, yeah. sure. the Bible. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just taking the That's stories true. from the Bible yeah. to make a a horror flick. But either way, uh, Jerry Gold Goldsmith's score incredible. Uh, great, yeah, everybody did amazing in this yeah. movie. The little kid, man, I felt for him. At the same time, it sucks because like I feel bad rooting for. The death of a five-year-old, you know? Like, I didn't want him to straight up stab him. But I think the ending and the way they ended it made it better. Because it's like, nah, he got away. Yeah, you didn't get to stab the kid. Because that was going to be pretty brutal, the way they needed to take him down. Yeah. But and if, understandable. if they were going to do it, I don't think that they would have shown it anyways. They would have right. just been like, yeah, he's he's gone. Sure. It's a downer. It's a downer if it's like, yeah, we stopped the Antichrist. But yeah, what they were telling him he needed to do... Uh, was a bit excessive for a movie, but the better way to end it is that Damien won and that he lived. And now 
living with the president yeah. and the first lady. Yeah, so he, he bumped up. He's <laughs> one step closer to his goal. Yeah, and he's going to get all the money and all the legacy from his father who passed away too. Yeah. So And his mother who he killed. Well, I guess he didn't kill it, but the cult of Damien did. So either way, that's it for the Omen. What did you think of it? What was your first experience with the Omen? Let us know in the comments below. I always love hearing everybody's theater experiences, <laughs> when they saw them, what they were doing, theaters they went to. Tell us down there. You can also like and subscribe. It's uh, you, And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. I also just kind of want to put in there that it's nice to see the doctor outside of the doctor. Patrick Troughton. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, because I don't think I've ever seen him in anything either. Right. But. But if you haven't, check out our reaction to The Exorcist, available now on our channel. And then we've got uh, Hellraiser coming next Throwback mm. Thursday. So be on the lookout for that. You can get early access on our Patreon for that. But thank you so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye. Bye.